We now shift our focus to the growth debate in Europe versus the United States. Taylor Swift is in Europe and that can only mean two things, some much needed consumer spending and an overall boost to growth there. Take a look at this next report to delve deeper into what if Europe grows faster than the United States this year. That sounds unlikely, even with Taylor's help. But that's exactly what ING economists are hinting at. Just look at the purchasing manager's indices. They're telling us that U.S. growth has slipped below the eurozone for the first time in a year. We will get fresh data this week to nudge that analysis further. ING's analysts reckon there might be something in it. Out in the States, ING's chief international economist, James Knightley, makes a compelling case for recent consumer strength to EBB away later in the year. But look at Euro. Inflation fell back pays up, and households are starting to feel the love. Even in the UK, headline inflation is set to drop towards the two-person target this week. And now, look at household finances. US consumers have largely blown through all the savings they built up early on in the pandemic. European households have been far less impulsive. Then there is the jobs market. There are signs things are finally cooling down in the US. ING's nightly points to the U.S. quits rate. This is the proportion of workers voluntarily leaving their job for another. This gauge is now below pre-COVID levels, and there are hints that the payroll figures could look bleaker as the current quarter wears on. In Europe, the jobs market is proving surprisingly resilient. Admittedly, it depends on where you're looking, and of course, it's a lagging indicator. But this data surprised everyone, more than a third. Yes. A third of Italian service companies are saying a lack of staff is limiting their business. Before the pandemic, it was 5%. It is similar but less dramatic in Spain. Even in Germany, vacancy levels are well above what we had before COVID-19. Although the story is less good beneath the surface, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, this summer, there's a case for some long overdue optimism about Europe. And annual growth predictions, well, they can be misleading. They tell us as much about 2023 as they do 2024. Wait instead until we get the December quarter GDP later this year and compare it to the same point last year. They're still a long way off. But on the metric, Europe may yet end up steaming ahead of the US. Be report, we on World is One. For latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.